Well, New Jersey has signed one of their big name players that they needed to get done this offseason. That's right, Jesper Bratt is staying in New Jersey for eight years. Welcome back to Gillis TV. If you're new to the channel and like anything MLB or NHL related, make sure you hit that subscribe button as we are on our way to 500. Only 97 away, then 1,000 after that. So thank you guys for tuning in. Like I said, Jesper Bratt. Staying in New Jersey for eight years on a $63 million deal, which comes out to about $7.875 in that area. You know, I won't get into the dollar cents wise. So, pretty good deal for Brat staying in New Jersey where they have a lot of salary cap left to sign all their RFAs, some of the UFAs if they really want to. I could see Thomas Tatar maybe not gang re signed and they go for a younger guy like. Thomas Tatar, that could be a possibility, but yes, Burbrat on an eight year, $63 million deal still gives them $26 million in cap space to go out and do what they need to do, especially after trading for Timo Meyer. They're going to need Timo Meyer on the way back, and it sounds like that is really close to happening as Timo Meyer doesn't want to go anywhere as well. So that is the big story is Jesper Bratt staying in New Jersey for eight years. Now, like I said, that gives them about $29 million plus some change to work with to get guys like Nathan Bastin re-signed if they want. I could see Michael McLeod coming back. He's been a really good forward there. Timo Meyer, there's no doubt that he will be back. Uh, Sheragnvovich, I probably butchered that, sorry, I'm not good with names, uh, he could be on the way back. Now you got your, those are all RFAs, now you got your UFAs who are 32, 32, and 27, which in Eric Halla and Thomas Tatar, 32 years old, yeah, you could see where you want to go with that, but the Miles Wood, I believe, would be back. Uh, you could test the free agent market to replace Tatar and Hala if you really wanted. And that's what I would do if I was New Jersey. Just kind of test the waters before say, hey, we want you to come back. There's a lot of good free agents out there this year. And with $29 million in salary, say you give Timo Meyer anywhere between 7 and $9 million, You still have $20 million to sign all those other RFAs who... Probably will equal out to about 10 to 12 million. That gives you 8 million dollars to kind of figure out what you could do with replacing Eric Halla and Thomas Tatar. And for 8 million, you could sign a 2 million dollar fourth line guy and have a 6 million dollar top six guy to help with your top six if you want. There's all those possibilities. But we do have to go into the defensive side where. Kevin Ball is a RFA and Ryan Graves is a UFA. That's one thing they have to look forward to. And I think Ryan Graves is on his way back. After trading Damian Severson to the Columbus Blue Jackets for that third round pick, New Jersey knew they couldn't keep all or both defensemen for sure. And they decided to keep Ryan Graves over Severson, which... Ryan Graves won't cost as much as Damian Severson does, so that's more than likely why they traded them. Secondly, you got your goalies with Mackenzie Blackwood being an RFA. You do have Akira Smid and Vintek Vanek, so Mackenzie Blackwood's probably going to get a pay raise. So after you said and done everything, there is probably going to be you know, about $5 million in cap space after the guys they want to re-sign. So $5 million still gets you a pretty decent player still in the NHL. You look at what the Edmonton Oilers did last season with Evander Kane and Ryan Nugent Hopkins, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins went and had a 100-point season for five, I believe it's $5 million. So you can still get a decent player for $5 million if you're the New Jersey Devils, and that could be the way they go to fill in their top six, top nine, for sure. So that is kind of the breakdown of what they have left. Yes, for Brat signing that eight year, $63 million deal. Like I said, it comes out to 7.875 and some change here and there. 
and whatnot. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm Gillis TV. I'll catch you on the next one.